Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys exactly how to download and install Schematica in Minecraft 1.12.2. But before we get into that, this video is brought to you by Game Servers. Go to thebreakdown.xyz slash server. First link down below to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just $1 per month. You can't find a better deal out there and you also can't find better service out there. We use Game Servers ourselves for every Minecraft server we create it is incredible and we love them again that's the breakdown.xyz slash mc server first link down below now how do we download and install schematica well first we need to get forge to do that go to the second link down below the breakdown.xyz slash forge and scroll down until you see the big green download forge button right there click that and it will take us off to files.minecraftforge.net where we can see minecraft 1.12.2 right here. That's the version we want to download. If yours doesn't say Minecraft 1.12.2, no worries. Just find it over here on the side and click on it and then it'll say 1.12.2 there. Once it says that, we're good to go under download latest and click installer. Once we've clicked installer, it will take us off to add focus where we have to wait five seconds up here. Don't click anything on this page at all, period, except the red skip button in the top right. Whatever it says, whatever it says right here, mine's just white for some reason, but do not click it because you don't want that. What you want to do is click the red skip button in the top right. That would then download Forge. We want to make sure it says Forge right there and then ends with dot .jar. If it does, we can go ahead and click Keep. Forge is 100% safe. It's been downloaded by millions of people. Now, let's download what we need for Schematica. To do that, go to the third link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Schematica, and it will take you here, where we then want to click on Download Schematica, right? The big green Download Schematica button there. But we also want to come back to this page. I'll also link it fourth link down below, but to download Lurnus Core right here, Lurnus Core, whatever that word is. I can't say it, but we're going to click that, and that'll take us to here. Once we've got both of these open for Lunartis Core, we want to go over to Files here and find the 1.12.2 version. As you can see, it's the most recent here. It might not be for you, so just make sure you find the one for 1.12.2. Scroll over and hit that Download icon right there. It will download it. I promise it's safe. It's been downloaded by 616,000 people. Now we need to download Schematica. To do that, come back over here. Again, we got here from clicking the Download Schematica button back on the breakdown.xyz slash Schematica. And then we want to go into Files right here. So click Files. And then we want to find, again, the 1.12.2 version, which right there it is. Scroll over and click on that Download icon. We can want to keep this file right here. So we're going to keep it. It's been downloaded 53,000 times. I promise it's safe. And now we can minimize our browser to our desktop where we have Forge, which apparently was downloaded already, or I downloaded it twice by accident. So there's Forge, and then there's Larnitz's Core and Schematica right there. If these are on our new desktop, no worries. Hit the Windows key and your keyboard and R at the exact same time, and then just type in Downloads exactly like that and hit Enter. They'll be here in your Downloads folder. Drag them to your desktop for ease of use. Once they're on your desktop, let's start off with Forge. Right click on it. Then go to open with right here, Java TM Platform SC Binary. Click that, and it will open up our handy dandy Forge mod installer. Click on install client and click OK. It'll now go through, download some things, and woohoo, successfully install client profile Forge. Awesome. Click OK there, and now we can drag this to the side. We don't need that right now or ever again. You can actually delete it. Now we need to install Lunas. Lun Lunartis Core, I cannot say that word guys, and Schematica, and to do that, we again want to hit the Windows key, which looks like the little Windows icon in the top left of my screen here, or in the bottom right of your screen, and then R at the exact same time. This will then open up the Run application again, and we want to type in percent app data percent, percent app data percent, and then click OK. It will then open up the roaming folder where we then want to go into .minecraft and then we should have a mods folder. But Nick, what if I don't have a mods folder? What do I do? Well, don't freak out. Calm down. It is okay. All we need to do is right click down here, create a new folder and title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Then you want to open up your newly created mods folder. Next, we want to take both the word that I can't say, core, and schematica, right? So learn this core, I tried it again, didn't work, and schematica, and drag them into the mods folder. 
boom, these are now installed. If this has helped you out, guys, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We're building a new channel here, so the subscription really does mean a lot. Now, we also want to open up the Minecraft launcher here. Once it's open, we want to come down here next to the play button, hit the little green arrow. It's going to open up this where we want to then click on the Forge profile. You should then be able to click play and have Schematica installed. If you don't, however, no worries. Just come over here to launch options in the Minecraft launcher and click on Forge. You then want to click on the drop down box next to version and scroll all the way down to the bottom where you should have multiple Forge versions. You want to select the one for 1.12.2 and if you've got multiple ones like I do, select the one with the highest number on the end. So in my case, 2654 is a lot higher than 2611. So let's go with the one 2654. It's the bigger number, it's the most recent version. Now we want to come back over here to news where we can then click the little green arrow, click on the Forge profile again, and click play. It will now launch into Minecraft 1.12.2 with schematic installed. I'll see you guys on the Minecraft main menu. Once you're on the main menu, it's really easy to see if Schematica is installed. To do that, go over here to mods and scroll down, and there you have Learn to Score and Schematica. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of Minecraft and show you guys something real quick. Obviously, if you're downloading Schematica, you wanna install schematics. To do that, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time, yet again. We're gonna go back to percent, app data percent, and then we're gonna go back and dot Minecraft. Now though, we have this schematics folder. This is where you're going to drag and drop your schematics, guys. And I'm going to have a link down below and on a place to go download those. So once you've downloaded one, just drag it into here and you'll be able to access it in Minecraft. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content on PCs, Minecraft, all of that awesome stuff. We do awesome how-to content here every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown How-To. And I am out, guys. Peace.